Welcome to 2023 physics competition. Today is the first round. There is a problem uh, right here and they have to solve this problem. And they have exactly five minutes. The answer key is behind, they cannot look at the answer key. You have uh, 0 0.03, 0 0.02, 0 0.01, go! Uh, so, one, you're blocking it. Uh, Mr. Oh. Barry, drop a ball from 80 meters. Yada yada, stop talking. Uh, uh, okay. The initial velocity is um, zero, and this distance is 80 meters. So, what? Let's do you have to write a number, by the way. Okay, one is distance versus time. So, two is. You don't have to write any value. I just, I just want the scratch. Oh, uh, um, this is getting me nervous, you know? It should be a uh, G. Which is uh, this one. Now this is... Uh, what is that? The speed. The uh, 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 I said no value needed. Oh, sorry. If you cannot follow the instruction, then you lose. Oh, Jesus. You have three minutes left. No! I, I, I don't have three minutes left. I have more than that, right? Alright. Uh, so. We're going at the same pace here. Cause I, oh, do we have to include values for seven stuff? Yes, you have to include oh, the values. Shit. Okay. Four and eight? Damn, man. Damn. Uh, This is the answer key. Everybody can look and everybody can see the mistake they are making. What? Shh! Don't respond. Okay. And I'm gonna show you the problem again so that at home you can try. This is a kinematics problem. Yeah. Okay, so control displacement. Now I know this one should be same so let's see. Oh. We've had to die over here, which is good, because it allows me to get more time. Folks at home, uh, you can also see, uh, you have to shake the area under the, um, under the car. You gotta be kidding! Do you know, really? Yes. Oh, you have to shake the area under yeah. the car? Yes. Okay. Wait, how? Under vitigraph, uh, and you cannot ch see each other thing. Area under vitigraph, shading area under vitigraph is, is a common thing, common practice. Okay, gotcha, buddy. Oh. So, um, How's it that big? Eight. Eight. Uh, there. That should be eight. Yeah. So, so big, eight, but eight, yeah. it's fine. So that's a uh, half the eight. There we go. Good enough. 
two and B is the other two. Sixteen, which is eight. Also, oh, this is the okay. This one has to be probably my eight. Yeah. So this area is uh. And do we have to do that for the eighty graph? Okay. Eighty graph does doesn't have the eighty under card. What what are we are talking about? Sorry, sorry. Stop. Both of you stop. Okay. Now you can check the answer key and honestly grade yourself. Right. Binary system. Zero means you get wrong and one means you get right. No partial credit. Grade start from problem one and the answer key is over there. Well given that I have an answer nine and ten. I have to give myself it's step from one. Follow the instruction. Yes, I will. I'm just doing that to see myself okay. some time. It has to be 100% honest. 7, 8, 8, 8. How it is nice. I see that 8 on the y axis. Huh? And I see you have 4 on the y axis. How it is nice. What? See the initial velocity when the ball is going up is 8 meters per second. No, but we're talking 2. No, one. no, over here, right here is 8 meters per second, right? Oh, it doesn't tell you anything about that. Right here, the velocity is 8 meters per second. You have to figure that out by math. But there's no way to figure that out. Oh, the, there is, there is. Oh, there, my way of estimating was No, that, there is a figure, there is a half, uh, A equal to oh, half BH. A equal to half BH. Oh, over there. Right there, A equal to half BH. So you have to, this is a parabola. So if you, um, if you take the derivative, that become? Uh, a straight line. A straight line, and the straight line is half a bh. And half bh is gonna give you the eight, is that right? And oh, Rifat also got wrong. Okay, yeah, he drew so he way. got wrong for different reason than you got wrong. Okay. Oh. Uh, Rifat 80 graph is also wrong. There, yeah, is, there is only uh, one acceleration and that is how much? Wait, Negative four. So I have a question. If uh, if one of our graph, graphs is wrong because it's related to another wrong graph, do we also have to mark it as wrong? No, you can give yourself partial grade, but you know, since you but are... But didn't you say no partial credit? Just okay, like since this is fast round, you know, the partial doesn't matter. You're always going to get chances. Now, it's, uh, give... Give yourself a final score, both, both, both oh, guys. This is 8. Oh, you have to find the... 2, 3, 4, 5. 5 out of 10? Okay. Seven. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 out of 10. Alright. So now, give me your final statement. Uh, next time, what strategy would you change to do better? Starting with Rifat, Ref. Um, the strategy I would change is, uh, first of all, the, this is the part of the DT graph that I screwed up. So, uh, so if you look at this, you know the second derivative has to be negative. So right away you know that this is wrong because the second derivative has to be completely negative because it's concave down. So, based on the fact that the second derivative is negative and the acceleration has to be like this, you know it can the the VT graph cannot be in this configuration. It can only be in a. All right, Isaac. Uh, what is strategy would really you change? Uh, I think I should focus more instead of teasing Refat, and uh, I should also uh, try checking back on my work if I have enough time. Yeah. I agree with him. And one way I gave you the answer, come over there. I gave you the answer. If you do without the math, you see that distance is 24 mm -hmm. and displacement is 8. Uh -huh. So I gave you the answer. Wow. No? Yes? Mm -hmm.
I gave you the answer, so you have to you have to figure out how you can get the answer when you know the answer. That, that's so great. Uh, you want to congratulate each other? You're Congratulations stupid. on getting a five out of ten, which is two points less than me. I win, you lose. <laughs> next round. Wait, next round, right? No. Oh. Next round is tomorrow.